This is the Rangoon Creeper fruit, and if you have been watching this channel for a while, this may look familiar to you. That is because uh, a while ago, I found a fruit that is a very close relative of this in Madagascar. The one that I found in Madagascar is extremely rare. It is Cumbritum Obscurum. It's got Obscure in the name. This is Cumbritum Indicum. And this one is more common. It's also commonly used in China. However, the ones that I found in Madagascar, when I asked at the, uh, the market that I got it at, if it was edible just to eat it regularly, how people used it, they said you could eat it as a snack. But it's also used to get rid of parasites. This is not used as a snack. This is used purely as a medicine in China. Now that I found out about this and did a little bit more research, I am now a little bit concerned about the number of the Madagascar variety that I had when I was there. Because this has a rather dangerous chemical in it. Inside this little nut here is quiscalic acid which is used in neuroscience in order to selectively kill neurons. So it is an acid that can be used to kill cells. That is not super comforting, because I ate a whole bunch of these when I was in Madagascar. I was fine, but uh, yeah, it's probably not a great idea to eat a whole ton of these things. However, eating a few is probably fine. People do eat this thing in order to kill parasites, and uh, I'm just imagining that you don't eat like a whole ton of it like all the time like you would eat an almond. You want to uh, eat it only in small doses. So I am going to try this on its own just to get the flavor of it, but I would recommend that if you want to try this as like a curiosity or something, you're probably fine, but if you were to get into the habit of eating these all the time, probably not good for your brains. So, um, yeah, be careful. One notable thing about this is that it's not easy to open. The ones that I had in Madagascar were a very thin shell, so you just like hold on to it and twist it, and it would pop right open. This does not do that. This one, oh, maybe. A little bit of effort, maybe I can get it open. There we go. But yeah, not, uh, not so easy. And inside there is a little shriveled up nut. And this is what you want if you don't want parasites. So let's see what that tastes like. It tastes like the ones I had before. They're very fatty tasting, a little bit sweet, no bitterness, no tartness or anything. It tastes like something that you would want to eat because it tastes a little bit like almond, like a raw almond. The ones that I had in Madagascar those I remember being a little bit sweeter, which might be um, like a cultivation thing. Might be that those were selected a little bit more because people were eating them uh, out of hand. This one is used as a medicine, but it's a pretty tasty medicine. So these are out there. You can buy a bag of these for a few bucks online. If you eat a few of these, I imagine it's fine, but if I were to down this whole bag, I probably would... Um, forget multiplication or something. I did really like the one that I had in Madagascar. It's one that when I found it, I was like, wow, this could be such a fun thing to introduce to the US. But uh, maybe that one also had that uh, that acid in it. So might be a good idea that uh, that never did happen. Either way, it was really interesting to get a chance to try another species that is related to something that I had before, uh, especially something as odd as this one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I would like to give a big shout out to Smarter Every Day, Altpot, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. I'm sure you've heard about Patreon.com, but basically it is how I can afford to go on all the trips that I go on and how I get all the fruit that I review. That is all from funding from viewers like you. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here and you want to help me out, uh, please check out the link in the description below and uh, there you can find out more. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.